Behind you. Yes. Slug, I should have said something. Close one. Close one. Okay. Yeah, imagine the shit that we don't see, man. It'll, it'll, it'll flip our wig, yeah. man. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. That's right. We get a glimpse. We get a glimpse of that wickedness, man. You know, just like uh, Ezekiel did when he went into the temple. Oh, yeah, you just get, yeah, he saw. He saw, he yep. saw he had a glimpse right. of what was they was doing in the temple, yeah. man. You know what I mean? That's how we are. We, we get a glimpse of what we see in the temple to a certain point. Now this is uh, 1 Kings chapter 6, verse 7. You know what? You can read verse 1. Let's go back to your other point, bro. Okay, verse 1. And it came to pass in the 408th year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel in the month Zip, which is the second month that he began to build the house of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Verse 2. And the house which King Solomon built for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh the length thereof was three score cubits, and the breadth thereof was 20 cubits, and the height thereof 30 cubits. And the porch. You know, it's funny because the uh, Shah brother Yashad posed the question to us the other day. It's like, what's the correlation? What's the significance? The correlation between the Ark of the Covenant and the Jordan River and Yahweh Shah and the Jordan River. Ultimately, the carnal to the spiritual. When you look at it, from the carnal to the spiritual. Just like back then they were building the house of the Lord. This is Solomon that was building the house of the Lord right now. We're doing it again. That third temple under Yahweh Shai is made up of men. We are the kingdom of heaven. We're being built. And to be built, we gotta what? We gotta be built on the outside before we go into that uh, temple, AKA the kingdom. We're getting, we're getting built. The tools are being used on the stones on the outside first before we join to that temple. You know, that's why you see brothers. We, we working that stuff now, man. Hey, 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 uh, go ahead, keep going. Verse three, and the porch before the temple of the house, 20 cubits was the length thereof, According to the breadth of the house, and ten cubits was the breadth thereof before the house. Uh -huh. And for the house he made windows of narrow lights, and against the wall of the house he built chambers round about, against the walls of the house round about, both of the temple and of the oracle. Uh -huh. And he made chambers round about, the nether, nether must chambers was five cubits broad, and the middle was six cubits broad, and the third was seven cubits broad. But without in the wall of the house, he made narrow rest round about. Then the beams should not be fastened in the walls of the house. Keep going. Verse, four. Verse seven. Uh -huh. And the house, when it was built, so like in the house, when it was in building, uh -huh. was built of stone made ready before it was brought to them. Because we're building the house right now. And it was made ready of stone, as the brother said, before it was brought thither. The kingdom of heaven, we ain't gonna be all in the kingdom of heaven and then working out the differences in the kingdom of heaven. It don't work that way. You got niggas that think we just gonna just be all separate and then all be delivered and work our differences out in the kingdom. It don't work that way, man. We're doing it now. Shed off all the wickedness and everything now before we go to that kingdom. That's the only way you're gonna be accepted. You see? All right, keep going. So that there was neither hammer, nor axe, nor any tool of iron heard in the house while it was in building. See, now that's the see that's the physical. It's going to correlate with the spiritual. First Peter two and three. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming, to whom coming mean the Lord, right? As unto a lively stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and precious. That's it. He is. He was chosen, all right, to be the lamb of the Lord, man, to die for the nation of Israel. He was chosen. Verse 5, ye also, now it's talking about the followers, ye also as lively stones, because he's a stone, and if we follow him, we're stones. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, you see, and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the most side by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You see that? So on one end we gave you the physical, the carnal, and on the other end we're moving to the more spiritual. But it's the same thing, they both needed work. They both needed work first before the temple was complete. Brothers was just talking about all the wickedness of the world and imagine what we don't see. 
we out here prophesying of that so that when people see that, they say, oh man, I need to repent. Because some of our people are doing that wickedness. But we ain't, this ain't no church as you come as you are and we're going to build around that. No, you build now before we get delivered on them chariots. That's right. We're not all going to be in the kingdom. We all, this, this group believes in Jesus. We believe in Yahweh Shai. The other group believes in uh, uh, um, yes, uh, uh, Most High yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another group believes in the Old Testament only. Yeah. This ain't, we all just going to just be beamed up and then we're going to work in the kingdom. Nah, bro. You got to do that now. Yeah, so where's the all going to rest? Huh? With all these different buildings. Yeah, all these oh, man, that's... Where's the art going to rest? You see what I'm saying? That's why we're building the house now, man. The house upon David, man. Upon that stone. One body, one face. That's right. Upon David, which is the stone, which is Peter, which is the same person, by the way. The scripture says there's no inquisition made in the grave, right? When we are dead, what are we, brothers? When we are dead in the body, where are we? Yeah. Where are we? In the spirit world. Thank you. In the spirit world, the scripture says that we have a spiritual house. When we die from this, we literally have a spiritual body in the spiritual realm. And there's no inquisition made in the grave. Why? Because we're in our perfect form up there. Right? So guess what? There's going to be no inquisition made in the kingdom because we're going to have our spiritual bodies. Right. That's the time to do it now. Right. You see? Get your shit together now, man. Talking about these people on this side. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We just saw a whole bunch of these young women walking up and down looking like hoes, harlots ass all out. It looks pleasing to the flesh, but we know according to the scriptures, the spirit is wickedness. Right. Then a lot of them are lesbians, man. Right. The older generation women, you let you let our people down, man. Mm -hmm. Cause you're supposed to get on these young women. That's right. Now, yeah, now, nowadays our women are like, well, we don't know what else to do. We, we just let, they just running them up. That's because you didn't get on them. Cause you had no order. This is, uh, this is Titus 2 and, and 3. It says, the aged women likewise, that they read, be. Read, read up. Read verse 1, bro. Yep. Verse, all right. Titus 2 and 1. It says, but speak thou things which become sound doctrine. Which become sound doctrine, whole doctrine. Go ahead, complete doctrine, as the brother said. Go ahead. That the aged men be sober, great. Sober, sober-minded. Not talking about uh, as far as drink. Sober from what? These philosophies. Yes. Yes. Other than the scriptures. Go ahead. Great, temperate, sound in faith. Sound complete in your faith, as the brother said. Complete. Complete in faith. The Lord ain't dealing with uh, two-thirds part faith. He's not dealing with a fraction of faith. When you go into faith, there's another word uh, that's in there. That's what? Integrity. Integrity goes back to math. Integer. An integer in math, when you learn in school, an integer is a whole number. Yep. One is a whole number. Two is a whole number. The Lord is looking for integers. A fraction is one-fourth, two-thirds, three-sixteenths. That's part of it. Is the Lord looking for fractions? No. He's looking for those who have whole faith. Go ahead. It says, in charity and patience, mm -hmm. the aged woman likewise. Now, see, because, the, look, the, the Lord got on the men. And then it says the aged women likewise. Y'all got to be talked to. You can run all day long. You can't run from the Lord. Right. The wicked flee when no man pursue as the brother said. And I know she shook her head like, damn, like, what are we going to do? You're supposed to feel this. We feel it. Now you see, now the regular person, when they feel that, now you know what the man of the Lord feels every goddamn day. But the Lord put a spirit on us to contain our spirit. That's why we're able to go to work and all this and not go crazy. We look at something like, man, that's wicked, but we keep moving. Because the Lord contained that in our spirit. You see? If not, if not, we'll just be like, oh, but be killing, doing crazy stuff. Go ahead. It says, verse 3. The aged woman likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. As you be in behavior as become of holiness. And the knowledge of these women ain't holy, man. They ungodly, man. All right, go ahead. Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Not, not false accusers. A lot of these women are false accusers of the men, of the men of their nation, man. You see? A lot of men have went to jail and, and, and died because of these women, man. That's wickedness, man. There's a woman who sued this Jake for $10,000 oh, yeah. because over a date. That's crazy. 
she she tried, he, she no, no, know. check this out. Check, judge, no, yeah. check, no, check, huh? She got loud with the judge and all that. No, 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 check this out. Besides that, he said, remember, he said, man, I just, this is crazy. I thought this would have been thrown out already. Whatever. You know what the judge said back? Well, if you wanted it thrown out, you had the motions for that to be thrown out. Yeah. Motherfucker. That's why you eat so you eat a mice gotta go too. Right. Because you should have looked at that and said case dismissed. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about if you wanted if you wanted the case to be thrown out, then you should have put in an emotion and another man. Fuck you, man. Yeah, yeah, man you fucking judge, judges, man. Judgment, no justice. Exactly. So, so the case that should have been thrown out, they still want to make Jake jump through hoops to throw a goddamn garbage case out, man. Go here, bro. Yeah. That's, that's frivolous right there. That's like, yeah. 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 Another one. They, they want to put you on child support just because your relationship failed. Uh -huh. Not that you don't want to be a father. Exactly. You exactly. know, they will push you away from the kid and say, see, see, he not taking no care of him. But you the one push me away. Uh -huh. You know? And, and, and then, and then, and then these goddamn courtrooms, right? These got, the goddamn courthouses, they take a piece of that money. Because when you pay child support, they say, oh, we take ours and give the rest to her. And if you don't pay the child support, it's not the fact that you ain't paying her. You ain't paying the goddamn court. That's why you go to jail. Title 14. Eat with the serpent again. What they do first is suspend your license. So you're just driving around. You don't know what's going on. You get pulled over, and they say your license is suspended. And they're not going to tell you why until you get to the precinct. You find out you got this big, large-ass tab of the child support that you were supposed to be. Yep. You know, and you had no fucking idea because she's lying. You know, most of these men want to be in their children's yeah. life, man. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, man. men ain't just running from their children; they running from you. Yeah, that yeah. wicked yeah. ass bitch. Yeah, yeah, dragon, yeah. Right? yeah. You know? yeah. But the scripture and prophecy, because the spirit of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Now, when you be trying down as the mire of the streets, it's gonna happen. You're gonna be looked at as mud, man. You're gonna be looked at as mud, man. Yeah, goddammit. Like the brother said, you're gonna be looked at as mud, man. Go ahead, bro. Uh, it says, not false accusers, not given to much wine, oh, teachers which, of which, good which, things. And teachers of good things, which guess what? You didn't teach a goddamn thing. That's why the women are running off the muck, man. And then it said, not given, uh, you're supposed to be sober minded too. That's why the scripture said, likewise the women, yeah. like the men. You have to be sober minded. A lot of our women is into this goddamn society. A woman at the job the other day was asking these two two jakes right in front of me, have y'all got boosted? Oh, have y'all got y'all up second, third booster? What what is the what has that become a conversation? Now you just asking people if they've been triple boosted. Why? Because uh uh oh Biden's old funky ass got COVID. Mr. Burns ass got COVID. Now all of a sudden, have you got boosted? That, that's but that's you being what into these other philosophies not being sober-minded not, not trusting in the Lord oh Christian woman yeah. Every, to this day everything's still Trump we in, we in this part of 2022 and niggas are still talking about Trump yeah. are you out of your mind <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you it's Trump and it's racist. What that got to do with this uh, funky ass nigga in the office right now, man? Who can't ride a bike? Who can't? As soon as he get done and he puts on a kickstand, he falls. Because he realized he had no kickstand. He falls. Go ahead, bro. Verse 4. It says that they may... That they may teach the young woman to be so Yeah, that you may teach the young women. A lot of a lot of reason why these women is looking like slows and huts. It's huts. Slows and sluts. Holes and sluts. That's a combination of holes and sluts. Slows. I like that. Slows and huts. That's a new one. Slows and huts. That's a new one. Slows and huts. And we can say that at work. All these slows and huts and get away with it. You know? Hey, the reason why all these women are what? Looking like Holes and sluts is because they haven't been taught right, man. And they don't want to be taught. And they think it's funny when that's brought up. That's why the Lord is going to kill you. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 4. That they may teach the young woman. You think, they think it's funny to dress like that in front of a child. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Here it is. There's a child. And they think having their breast and stuff out in front of a child is funny. Everybody thinks that's funny. 
or when they get raped, yeah. all of a sudden now they want to say, we need abortion. Yeah. We need abortion. When well, the reason why they got raped, because they look like that. Yeah. Right. And it's not her size. Yeah, every, every girl want to be a size six, a size four when they not. I'm a size this. That's why they got that little ass belly shirt up here and everything else is big. Isaiah the third chapter, that's what you are. Go ahead, bro. Where's Paul? <laughs> yeah, it, is. it says that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands. Who? Uh oh. <laughs> yo, that, yo, it was a video. Then the bro posted in the chat is a video where a dude was interviewing a bunch of women, like I think in Miami or Houston. Yeah. And he was asking, he was asking her, uh. Uh, uh, do she want to get married? Yeah. And all of them said, hell, hell no. no. Yeah. Hell no, she they don't want to get married. Right? Yeah. Know. You know? Yeah, that's for the first. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. they, 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 the they look at marriage as punishment or yeah. bondage. Yeah. Husband you know? put you in the type of order. Yeah. She don't want to be placed in order. Yeah. Won't be placed in order. Yeah. See? See how it's not a lot of says, It's not a demons. Yeah. It's fine. Because what you're doing actually what the Spirit of the Lord is saying you would do. Yeah. It said, woe unto them. That laugh now. Oh, you gonna what? Mourn and weep later. Yeah. That yeah. stuff is coming, bro. Yeah. All it takes, all it takes is one terrorist attack and, and it's over. Right. Yeah. All it takes is one goddamn bioweapon attack or something crazy and it's over. When COVID, when COVID came out and there was lockdowns, you had women crying for men. Crying for men. Talking about, I'll do whatever. I'll be with a man that has multiple. I'll do whatever. Just protect me. When COVID first, this next lockdown is going to be stupid. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Watch. Because them stores not going to get replenished as fast. Because you see these gas prices? Yeah. yeah. You know? They, they, yeah, they, yeah, them yeah, trucks yeah. not going to be able to replenish uh -huh. the stores as fast as these people panic when it's a snowstorm coming. Uh -huh. I worked in a grocery store for 10 years, man. You hear a snowstorm, you hear anything, the stores is wiped out. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And them yep. trucks ain't going to be able to replenish it. So yep. what you gonna do when a, a bunch of people hungry as hell? You know? You're gonna need a man. You're gonna need a man to protect you, man. These exactly. people gonna get crazy as hell when they hungry. Exactly. You know? But back in time. Only, only, only uh, as the scripture says, the spirit of Yahweh Shah again in dealing with prophecy, only take away our reproach, man. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, and, and guess what? It's stupid because you got other Israelite groups. That's why I said we got to beat on the stone now before we get to the kingdom. Yes. You got other Israelite groups saying that that's talking about in the kingdom. So the woman's going to get with the man to take away her reproach in the kingdom? It's not going to be a reproach in the kingdom. That's what I'm saying. Just because they said in that day. That's not righteously dividing the word of truth. Sometimes when it says in that day, it's talking about a prophecy that happened a long time ago. Sometimes when it says in those days, it's talking about what? The kingdom. Yeah. Sometimes when it says in those days, it's talking about what's coming now. Right. But you got to have what? These things are spiritually discerned, yes, as the scripture says. Yes, They're spiritually judged. Go ahead, bro. God, verse 4. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home. Wow. Hey, they, they, women can't even wash dishes, man. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Like, dishes, bro. That's yeah. something easy. Mm -hmm. Putting it in the cabinet is not even fucking clean. Especially when, they, especially when they at home. You got some men that got to go out and be on the grind. Women be at home all goddamn day. All day. On their phone. Still shit is messed up. Stuff, uh, 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 clothes, clothes all over the damn bed or whatever. I got cousins like that. I ain't gonna say any name, of course. I got cousins like that. Can't even sleep on a bed because everything all over. They wonder why the kids' room is jacked up. Because you ain't teaching nothing. Now the new shit that's going on in the uh, stay-at-home dads. Oh yeah, my God. You know, you know, this, this, this is getting bad out here, man. It's getting wicked. You know? This is straight out of order. Yo. It says, obedient to their husbands. Obedient. <laughs> yes, sir. And, you, know, you know, it's funny the brother says that because in the spirit, that's twofold. It's not just talking about the woman, it's talking about the woman of Israel. You know, it's talking about, it's talking about the Israelite woman. You know, what, what I mean by that is Israel as a whole. That's what I should say. Because when I say Israelite woman, that can still mean a woman of the tribes. I should say the woman that's known as Israel. 
We're not, we haven't, just let you know that we haven't been obedient to our Heavenly Father. The reason why our women are like this is because we fell. Why you think, why you think it's what this word is predominantly to the men? Unto you, O men I call. Your brothers can get the scriptures anyway, you know? Yeah. Unto you, O men I call. You see? Because the men got to be built up, and when the men are built up, because they're sighing and crying, guess what? The women are going to fall in order. Yeah, because, because without mouths ain't dropping and drooling when you see a naked woman, yep. they ain't going to keep coming out here naked. Because yep. really what they want is attention. So yeah. if, if men as collectively stop giving them attention, they going to dress the way we want them to dress. Exactly. Like that. God exactly. damn the Lord ain't there. Exactly. Man. Exactly. Like exactly. That, See that? That's you know, crazy. we put that on high as men. Uh -huh. The women will start dressing like that. Exactly. You know? Exactly. It's, it's, it's never, it. it's never been, it's never been what, it's never, but the Israelite woman's gonna have a little bit more style than that. Yeah, right? Yeah. They're gonna still have a long dress and hair wrap and yes. look like a straight up Muslim woman. They closer to the laws, yeah. but yeah. when she fell, did she, no, she fall? She drops I thought she fell. Yeah. I'm like, shit, see, a man picked her up. <laughs> you, either, either way, you need a man, you know. But the, but the woman, but the woman known as Israel, the reason why these women are acting the way they are is because we fell, man. And once the men are properly raised up, then the women will be raised up. And I actually got kind of mad earlier, bro, because you, you, I ain't gonna lie, you did have a couple of fine ass women that walked by, fat asses. I seen brothers looking, man. You know what I mean? Fat asses. And then you have one that went back here. They, they look good, but in the, in the back of my mind, I got mad at the same time. Because, because you know, according to the scriptures, it's fucking, it's not supposed to be like that, man. You know? And then it's Satan anyway, trying to get you to be caught or away from the ministry. That's another thing, man. Hey, we got to think, we got to think with more than just our dicks, man. Yeah. Talking to the men straight up. You know? Like uh, Elder Yashawamba said, we should be turning down more box than get. Right, yeah. That's a Kingsley mentality, knowing that we're in a carnal mind, man. Right. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, mortify therefore your members. Yeah, mortify their, hey, look, we don't talk about it, we be about it, bro. Akim, of course we're in the flesh, of course we see a finance, come on now. Of course we see it. It's there. But at the end of the day, there's, there's something that's greater than the flesh. That we have to push out. We have to push it out. For, for our people's sake and our sake. We have to constantly battle these demons. Yo, you have, the reason why you have men prophesying and a woman came with a fat ass, men actually got off camera and got their uh, digits. <laughs> happened in the ancient world. That's why we speaking on it, brothers. It happened in the ancient world. No, 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 not, 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 I didn't mean the ancient world like that, but yes, Judith, but I mean, earlier in this truth when I'm in it when I was in it this brother was in it you had men that said hold on they got up and they got the chick's number it came back as bad as she is she got the this ministry's finer yes this ministry's finer man and if I can say this the first part of the scripture it said mortify therefore uh, the, uh, your members the word mort the root word in, and mortify is to Force, which means to kill. Yes. Which means to kill off your flesh. Whatever your flesh is busting after, you have to suppress that, man. Mm -hmm. In order to please Yahweh while Yahweh shot. Yep. Now if I can finish this out, yep, yep. it says yeah, that, bro. Yeah. Colossians 3 and 5, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection. See these are the see these are the things that both man and woman of our nation have to mortify. Man and woman fornication we read earlier how that the age women likewise right we read earlier that what they're supposed to be sober yes. but a lot of them are into fornication you see it's it, like like what did them niggas yin yang twins say i don't give a fuck because she fine they was in the right fucking mind they don't care because the woman's fine a lot of hey a lot of fine women are going to die in the last days yes. right by the men of the lord by the way right a woman sitting there worshiping other gods. You think her head ain't gonna cut off by the, by the uh, going of Yahweh Shemuel Shai? That's right. Hair is off. And that ugly woman that everybody dissed is gonna be beautiful as hell because that ugly woman was worshiping Yahweh Shemuel Shai. And guess what? When she gets turned to that new body, that new body is gonna mimic the spirit that she had in her, man. That's right. Right. Um, right. You see? 
Just like even us, we ain't as comely as we supposed to be. Right. Wait till we get those new bodies, man. Look at Absalom, man. Oh yeah. He was the most handsome in Israel and now still in the carnal flesh back then. Yep. Wait till we get the spiritual bodies. Right. That's what we want, man. The finest woman on the planet right now could contend with one woman in the kingdom. That's right. One. That's a different body. Yeah. That body, you can't compare to these bodies. No, you can't compare it to that body. It's different. That's what we want, man. Go ahead, bro. Nope. 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 Proverbs 25 and 26, 28. It says, he that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. See, you have to have rule over your own spirit. And how do you do that? You battle demons with the spirit. Right. That's how you have rule over your spirit. Remember, it's not talking about when you're in the spiritual realm. It's talking about here. So here it deals with your body, your flesh, that's susceptible to demons and going off. You have to battle those demons, man, with the spirit. That's right. Yeah, that's why the scripture say the name of the Lord is a strong defense. Mm -hmm. Now, a city that doesn't have a defense, what can happen? Uh, uh, the enemy can ambush you. Mm -hmm. you know, these evil spirits can hop upon you, man. If you don't have rule of your own spirit, just like it just said. Yeah, we, we, yo, oh, bros, often, man, we not, we not fronting up here, man. We not saying that it ain't fine-ass women walking up. We not fronting. But at the same time, there's a time and place. To everything, there's a season. We in a time of our people waking up. They got to be in the right mind, man. See, me and the brother Abaji, but did a lesson down there uh, um, um, the other week. Pretty much, can you imagine if we was actually keeping the laws right now, the women and everybody was keeping the laws? Oh my goodness, man! It'd be like yeah. the scripture said, "This is your what wisdom in sight of the nations, man." Let's get that Deuteronomy, bro. Okay. The fourth chapter. You know, get your scripture though first, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this Sirach chapter nine, verse verse five. Just going back to uh -huh. what we said earlier. It says. Gaze not on a maid that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Mm -hmm. And then also, uh, um, actually, I'll just read some more context on it. It says, Give not thy souls unto harlots that thou lose not thine inheritance. Uh -huh. And which our inheritance is the truth, man. Uh -huh. And that the scriptures keep telling you to, to look the other way when it comes to beautiful women. Yep. Because the Lord knows what you want and he knows how you like it. Okay? And yes, more importantly, sir. Satan has that information. Yes, and he utilizes that information, yes, all right? Yeah. And verse uh, verse eight, it says, "Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty, for many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman." It says, "For herewith love is kindled as fire." And a lot of men, and a lot of men have been subject to that. You got with this woman because she was fine, and you know you popped her. You talking about sex was great, whatever the case may be. You got with that woman, you. You live with her throughout the years. All of a sudden, she turns out to be a fire-breathing dragon. And I know somebody. And I know somebody who's going through that. Here it is. They told her, told her not to get a dog. She, not only does she get a dog, she gets two. The floors are all pissed on. Shit all on the floors to them dogs. There's holes in the wall. The woman won't cook or clean. All that because she was fine, right? And you suffer for that because you ain't vet that woman out. You see? And that's why everybody gets on us about the whole rape doctrine. First of all, back then, when you took a woman, you had to be ready to take her back to the father, give him 50 shekels of silver. You better have them 50 shekels of silver, and you better be ready to have that woman for the rest of your Amen. life. Who, who, are you ready to deal with that? Yep. So when a man had that on him, please believe he was ready to deal with that chick for the rest of his life. It wasn't always, always happening back then, it, but it did happen. See? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 6. It says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and, and your understanding. That's the other word. Go ahead. This is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. Yeah, this is our wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nation. Can you imagine no more crab and lobster eating and shrimp eating? Oh, man. Like we talked about. A lot. That business, I'm just talking about from our nation alone. That business would fall. Yeah. Done. But the earth will get better. Yeah, what the look like? The earth will get better. Can you imagine if our women didn't wear fake hair on their head? Can you imagine that? Put the Koreans out of business. Put the Koreans out of business. Then they will go into more natural products to grow their hair. Yep. And mind you, the ones that come back and repent to the Heavenly Father, the Lord allows their hair to grow anyway. Yep. That's another thing. Yeah. 
That's facts. I remember brothers in the main camp said that years ago. A woman that got back uh, with a man of the Lord and she started serving the Lord, their hair started growing more. It didn't grow like they wanted to be, but the fact that the Heavenly Father allowed it to happen showed you something, man. It's showing you that our, our woman got curses on them because mm -hmm. Even a lot of them, they don't even know how to treat their hair. Yes. Yeah, you know, they don't know how to treat it. Bro, and that's, you know? that's the spirit you say, because I was talking to a woman, and she was saying the whole reason why she puts those fucking wigs on, and she was like, oh, not because of the humidity, and I don't want to put heat in my hand. But I was thinking, I was like, shorty, if you had your hair wrapped up and covered, you wouldn't have to deal with you it. Have to do, you wouldn't have to deal with the elements out here, because right. it'd be fucking wrapped up and covered. That's right. right. And it's just for the same reason. Need oh, so like, yeah, the need, need to style. Yeah, the need to style. Exactly. That's right. right. You know, a lot of them, when you look at them, they feel ashamed. Yeah. That's why they wear them wigs. Because yep. when they take it off, they're just looking busted that's or whatever. Oh. Wrap your hair up. Yeah. You know, that shit is, is pulling out your hair that's already there, making it worse. Yep. You keep wearing that on your head 24-7, you go bald even more. It's like when men constantly wear caps. Yep. And we're having, eventually, you're going to develop a bald spot. You see the hairline. you? Hey, them so-called Jews, them J-double-O's. Yeah. Them do a lot of them with the small hats. When they take that off, voila! It's a goddamn ball spot, man. Go ahead, bro. It's, um, it says, it says, and this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Is that, is that funny, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It says, which shall hear these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Yeah, can you right. imagine if we even did an inkling of those man. laws? The whole world will be in awe. No more booty shaking. No more being lewd in the streets, out public, nudity. Yo, can you imagine? The other nations will have utmost respect for us, man. Yeah. They already want to be us anyway. So imagine if we were truly who we were supposed to be, an inkling of it. The whole world will be in awe. This is Proverbs 31 and... Proverbs 31. Verse 7, it says, For what, like you, like you were saying, Raj, for what nation oh. there is there so great who have who have the most high so nigh unto them? Yeah, and we're trying to tell you that you are of this nation. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those of us that are scattered abroad that don't look like those. But you have the spirit of, of an Israelite in you. We're talking to you. Why don't you want to come back to this? Israel, here's a prince of God. Why don't you want to come back to that? That's your actual nationality. Here's a prince of God. These other nationalities, they got Chinese. Even if you want to go biblical, Moabite, of their father. Talking about of their father for real. Not of the heavenly father. That's their, that's their nationality. Incest. Incest, but we have an actual nationality. He is a prince of God. You don't want to be that? Go ahead, bro. This is, uh, yep. Uh, um, Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? See, a virtuous mm. woman's price is above rubies. When you are in an order, that is a precious thing. And we're saying you need to be like that. And AKA the nation of Israel has to be like that. Yep, yep. We're, we're, the, it, the nation is literally, the, the woman is literally mirroring the nation. We're so, we're so much of a slut and whore to the heavenly father. It's not even funny, man. We're so much of a harlot to the Lord. It's not even funny. That's why you have the ones of us that's coming like, Lord, please forgive us, man. That's what we're going. I did a video on that earlier. You have to repent towards being healed. Because brother's talking about how when we have faith, we're delivered and healed. A part of having faith is you have to repent. Yeah. How many yeah. times did the Lord say, what? Thy son, your sins be forgiven thee. Yeah. And then he turned, whether, what did he say? What did he say? Whether it's easy to say, rise up and walk, yeah. or thy sins be forgiven thee. Right. Showing you that those are what? Correlated, man. When he said, arise up and walk, he was saying, uh, I forgive you of your sins. Yes. So when you have faith in the Lord, you also have to repent. That's why we out here is talking to our people that are Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice as a trumpet and show my people their transgressions, man. 
Why? So they can return to the Lord in faith and say, I'm sorry. Yes. And then that, that's what heals us. Yes. Proverbs, that's what heals us. Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For a price is far above rubies. The heart of a husband doeth safely trust in her. Uh -huh. So that he shall have no need of sport. Mm -hmm. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Uh -huh. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly uh -huh. with Ooh. her hands. She is like a merchant. And guess what? A lot of you, a lot of these women have lost that. Yeah. I seen some older women out there cutting grass. How often do you see that? You always see a man out there cutting grass. Yeah, When's yeah. the last time you seen a woman out there cutting grass? Yeah. But I've seen some women out there. Look, you turn around like what? Cutting grass? I seen I seen an older woman out there cutting grass. That's a rarity. Back then, you forget that a lot of women had to put in work. Yeah. They were tending to the flock. They were tending to the sheep. They were keepers at home. They were tidying up the home. Yep. But now a lot of you women don't even want to do that. So she rises, she rises also while it's yet night uh -huh. and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maid. See that? She, she, she puts in work. She rises up and she prepares things, man. Before the sunrise. B before the sunrise at night. Yeah, man. Guess what? We also know that the day starts at night. So in a new day, she's doing this. Yep. Some women don't even give their children breakfast. Hell, exactly. They go to school hungry. That's what the breakfast is. Because you, you have this issue right now. I heard on the uh, radio, they were talking about how a lot of uh, kids don't have access to school lunches and yeah, stuff man. like that. Yeah. Well, guess what? If, God damn it, if they got food at home, pack them lunch. Yep. Make them something. Do something, man. And if you can't, guess what? That's because we under the curses. That's why you need to come back and call on the name of the Lord, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Says, oh, yeah, she, yeah. she considereth the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted the vineyard. Mm -hmm. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out mm -hmm. by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the display. The, the staff. Yeah, a lot of women were they were workers. They working knit things man. to the spindle. They they knit. They made clothes. They made food. Yeah. Now you have women that don't know how to use the microwave. Oh, man. You're not even supposed to be using that goddamn yeah, yeah. thing. But anyway, but you but anyway, you know. That's the point. It's the point. You have I, I know a chick who didn't know how to make grilled cheese, so she put two pieces of cheese together. With, uh, I'm sorry, two pieces of bread together with cheese in it and put it in a toaster and wonder why the toaster went on fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because 20. the cheese went down and taught it a fire. That's because you don't know how to cook. But you know what? I don't blame her. She's young. Older women didn't teach this. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Down to 23. <laughs> she maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Mm -hmm. Strength and honor are her clothing. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Mm -hmm. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. Uh -huh. She looketh well to the way to the way of her, of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Uh -huh. Her children rises up and call her blessed. Her husband also and is and praised. And this as she ought, and is this as she ought to work for her husband and keep be keeper of the house. We got to do that to the Lord. That's why you see men coming out here putting in the work. You see men studying so that we can answer to our people. We have to be the woman that's working for our husband. Yes, yes, yes. Remember like we read, though, I am a husband to them because the Heavenly Father was our, is our husband. Yes. And we, we need to realize that. And we need to put in work to please him. We need to get up early and work according to these scriptures. We need to get with the brotherhood, man. Yeah. We need to do things that are uh, that are pleasing to the Lord, which is work. It's work, man. Which is needed for the whole house of Israel. Yes. Man. Because when she's this, this is the, this is a, a Solomon speaking, the wise man, right? He had said that when this woman is built up, now her children is built up. Now her husband is honored in the gates when he's amongst the elders. Yep. All of these things is, is the woman's world, you see, and we, and, and, and some Israelites talk about, we don't talk about the woman 
or praise the woman or whatever. Look, the Lord is going to do what he's doing in due time. Yeah. Yeah. We just got to speak about it that, she, yes, she is needed, man. This is the reason why our children aren't eating breakfast in the morning because the woman has failed too. But it's our job, right, to get right also. Absolutely. It ain't a one, it's not a one uh, 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 person household. It, it, it has to have a two person household, yeah. man. It's collective. It's collective up here, man. You got the stronger, then you got the weaker doing the job of your house by shit out shot. Then the children's gonna be reared up. Yep. Yeah. See? How are we gonna have that if, if the woman is a slut in the street? Yeah. Or be yeah. telling the woman to be the slut in the street? A lot of women get breast jobs because the man said, go get a breast nah, job. Yeah, they pay for it. They yeah. pay for that. Man, I can't take care of another child. Go get an abortion. Yeah. This comes right. from the man too. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, That's why we need a cleaning up of our nation, man. Everything. Go ahead, bro. Add a quick one. This is uh, <clears throat> this Sirach chapter 26, verse uh, 16. It says, As the sun, when it ariseth in high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife right. and the ordering of her house. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just brought that out because that's that's what beautifies us, is the ordering of the house of Yahweh mm -hmm. Shemal Ashad. Mm -hmm. That's what the scriptures say. It says, uh, uh, basically, know the, know the state of your flock, you know, because we're, we're all tentative to the work of Yahweh Shemal Ashad. That's what gives us our beauty. Scripture I read, read talked about that she's going to make fine linen, you know, how you weave linen. If you weave the linen and make a garment so you can sell it. I had to go out and buy my own, yeah. sew my own. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, what, what's going on, man? Yeah, exactly. My wife don't know how to sew, yeah. right? She, it's, it's just weird. But the Lord said this is a part of her household, man. Yeah. Making clothes for the children, making drapes, making bed spreads. Mm -hmm. This is what the woman's supposed to be doing, man. That's her role. Okay. You know? Out of Sirach 26 and 14, it says, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And it says, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well constructed. That's what it's about, man. It's about having the, you know, the mind and having that in the proper instruction, man, which all comes from the, the, uh, uh, the wisdom knowledge, the true wisdom knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man. We, have, we all, like the, the Rahash was saying, the Lambac, we all have a role to play in this in, in this system, this 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 uh, uh, heavy, heavenly system that the Lord designed. And when you go completely against that, you got what you got right now. You, the scripture that you was reading, the woman that was being described, we have the exact opposite of that right now. Everything that walks up the street, you read, and that's like, bro, you don't check off none of these fucking boxes. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why, you know, through the spirit, it's important that, that brothers reiterate that you, you can't be a weekend Israelite. Yeah, straight up. Because we are the examples of the world to show what a true follower of the true power is. You know, like if, if you get Hosea 4 and 1, it'll tell you that uh, the Lord have a controversy with this place because there's no knowledge of it. Yeah. But we actually have the knowledge of it. You know, that's why you don't see us following the heat. When it's time to go vote, what you told Red, uh, uh, Red Grant, yeah. we already cast out votes. Yeah. You know, we already, we, we not, you're not gonna see us at the polls, man. Uh, you know, for any of these elections, man. You know, we got to be the example for the people that's around us. Like I said, uh, brothers, you know, like the brother Samash, you know, he's not here. But, you know, his family did a complete 360 over the years, man. You know, my family, we complete 360. Why? Because they watching us. Man. You know, they see how we conduct. You know, so my, my family, they don't have seafood around when we come. You know, they know we come. I don't see no fucking crab and shrimp on the table. You know, I, my, my kid, my daughter, she know, hey, look. And my daddy said, I can't wear that. That's, that's too short. You know? It's, it's a certain it's a certain uh, way you conduct, man. Uh, get uh, Ephesians 4. Oh, you're going to get that. Yeah. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 20. And it's getting worse and worse out. Let me grab this first. This is Matthew 5 and 16. It's sent straight to the point. It says, let your light so shine before men that, that, that they may see your, your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. All right. right. You know? And that's what we're supposed to do, man. It's, it's super important that just because you took your garment off and, and, and you, you're discreet, that don't mean that you're not dead. That don't mean you really took your garment off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? You, this garment is forever, man. Yeah, right. You know, we came back to who we are. We, we changed our, our entire conduct, man. Yep. 
You know? You got it? So Ephesians 4, Hosea 4. Ephesians 4 and 20. Ephesians 4 and 20. But ye have not so learned Hamashiach, if so be that ye have learned him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai. And ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Wait, that you, you put off concerning the old man. Look, we always did. That's why we so knowledgeable of how wicked these people are. Because we were there, man. We was right there amongst them, smoking weed, you know? Uh, some, somebody that was in my crew was a dyke, man. Matter of fact, she walked past the camp like about a few weeks ago, you know? She didn't recognize me, you know? But she recognized me at the hospital, you know? But she didn't recognize me doing this, you know? But we was right there, man. I know what it is, you know? My, my, my aunties, my cousins, they wicked as hell, man, you know? But, but they will know more of the Heavenly Father by watching you. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah, that new man don't just show up on Saturday, man. It's just, it's, that's a part of you. You know, that's why I would rather see the, you know, you, you're a little worldly. A little too world if we say yo bro, you know, you got a detox from the world, man. You know, you starting to sound like a nigga again. Yeah. You know, that's uh -huh. that's the importance of the brotherhood, man. You know, so you keep keep each other on point, man. You know, that's I, I told one of the younger brothers, I forgot who I said, man, but you know, we don't do our own thing here, man. You know, this is a unit, we move as a unit, man. It's not just about Saturday. We need to know what's up with you, man. You know? That's, that's, now I bring this out real quick. There's Romans chapter. <coughs> There's Romans chapter six, verse six. It says, "Knowing this, that the old man, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body." Actually, I'm gonna start up a little bit. This is a uh, this Romans chapter six, verse four. Or verse 5, it says, For if we have planted together in likeness of his death, we shall also be in likeness of his resurrection. Right. And that's talking about Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Just as, just as Yahweh Shah Hamashiach had died and he was resurrected, it's the same process that we're going through spiritually. Because we can't recreate that physically, obviously. You know, we don't have the same power of, of Yahweh Shah to die. But the thing is, the, the Lord needs us to spiritually die so that we can inherit the new traits in order for us to uh, uh, receive salvation, all right? And what's that? That's honesty, justice, judgment, like the uh, the things that the, the, the Ra'ash mentioned earlier that we all need to inherit in order to receive uh, uh, newness in spirit, all right? And a newness in character. If I can say this, that goes back to uh, Colossians 3 and 5 when we read earlier about mortifying the deeds of the flesh. You have to actually put aside the things that your flesh must have in order to follow your house. You know? No, that's a disciple. Yeah. That and disciple goes, that's synonymous with discipline. It right. takes discipline. Yeah, that, exactly. It requires you to humble yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See, and accept the order that the Heavenly Father has set up. Yeah. Exactly. See? Um. It requires you to acknowledge that there is one that is greater than you. Mm -hmm. See? There's nothing wrong with that. Wrong with that. Know. You know? There's nothing wrong with order, man. Yeah. That's what makes the world go round. You see? Because <laughs> you see what happens when you don't have order. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, exactly. it's a chaos, man. That's right. Bro, things get done when there's order. And you know, and you know, what, it, you know what a beautiful thing about this precept, too, is that it tells you a lot about self-reflection. Because in order for you to kill the old man, you have to identify what's the old man. Who is the old man? What are the traits of the old man? So when, you, when you're able to identify, okay, Maybe I'm maybe if I'm doing this, this is causing me to want to commit adultery. This is causing me to want to eat certain foods that I'm not supposed to eat. This, th these people are making me indulge in smoking. You know, these people are over here talking to other people's women. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's about your surroundings. So that's why Paul is basically helping you self-identify who the old man is. And also, he's giving you the process. He's allowing you to understand that there's a process of becoming that new man. All right? If I can say this, if you can actually the Lord brought an example uh, earlier. Like the uh, Ra'ash was saying, man, with these women, you know, these big booty chicks walking by the camp, you know? If this was the old man, brothers would be chasing them with you.
yes. in order to serve your house shot, man. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the heavenly father. You know? This is our uh, first, uh, first Peter 4 and 10. For therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power, mm. who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Kind. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. When we got this word, we have, we have to act on this word like the uh, Shaw brother said, Ganon said. Not just on the weekend. It's our whole life. Like you said, these garments are forever. When we were born out of our parents, we wasn't born with garments on. Yep. Mm -hmm. We are Israelites. That's who we are, man. Period. You see? Because you got other Israelite groups. I'm going to say this again. Just harp on that point. They're, those other Israelite groups are weakened Israelites. And I say that for one reason. They don't be doers of the word, they're just hearers only. Because they'll go out and speak in front of churches, get mobbed on, go speak in the hood over and over and over to people that can't get it. What the Lord say, man? Do what the Lord told you to do. Yeah, man. The Lord already told us where to go to preach. Yeah. He didn't tell us to go to the hood. Because if you go to the hood, you're just going to one specific demographic, one tribe, yeah. predominantly. When the majority of the tribes, to include those in the hood, can be found in the chief places yep. of concourse, where the crowds are. See? So you're not neglecting the Israelite foreigners out there. Because you're not going to find the Israelite foreigners living in the hood like that. Yep. So when you go to one location where the Lord told us to go, you get everybody, man. We're not supposed to be, what, arguing with a fool, man. If they can't get it, you leave them alone, man. But that's the that's the definition of weakened only Israelites because instead of actually considering what the Bible's telling me to do, that is out there just speaking. You gotta repent. Thus say the Lord, God. cool. But are you considering what the scriptures is telling you to do? Yep. It's more it's more to it than just talking about this. It's praying to the Lord, it's facing the east. Praying to the Lord, you know. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. That's like what the Elder Apostle Gabar said, man. You gotta apply these scriptures to yourself first. Mm -hmm. Teach yourself first. And furthermore, you know, the, the scriptures. The thing is, like, this book can actually be applied to every aspect of your life, and that's why you have to live this. And that's what it essentially means to really be an Israelite under the the uh, uh, the authority of Yahweh Shai by Shemar Kol Kadash. It's to actually live the scriptures. Your life is super, it's only indulgent in the scriptures. And I say this, with that being said, there's also, you know, there's <clears throat> certain things that you can do that can promote that. You know, the scriptures tell you to pray without ceasing. If you're on your phone all the time, you can set up reminders to tell you, you know, uh, to pray to the Heavenly Father. You know, and, and not only that, you know, just keeping the Heavenly Father in the forefront of everything that you do. Even if you're about to go get you some box, you're about to go get you some food, you're about to go drive. You listen to the music. The scriptures always it tells you to consider the heavenly father and all things. All right? Because the, what? The scriptures say also say that the heavenly father's incorruptible spirit is in all things. So everything that is in this world should remind you of your Havash Shemal Shai. You should always, in your mind at least, give up a, a, a prayer or some sort of some sort of communication with the heavenly father from hour to hour, man. You know? And that's what it really requires because this world is getting wicked. All right? You got, you got, you got some brothers... Hey, please. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, have yeah, some, you have some. You have some brothers that you know they may go seek a harlot. Hey, pray to the Lord doing that too. There's traps out here in this world. You pray to the Lord in everything, man. Hey, just being real, man. Like the brother said, keep it a buck. It's just, but, but it's being real, bro. There's some brothers that go do things. Pray to the Lord that you be protected in that. Hey, you know we got behind the other. Uh, Morning, man. Remember, hey, we took love like you do. Yep. Send them prayers, prayers up, man. Yep. You know? yep. This is uh, Proverbs. Actually, I actually had two. Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. That's right. And all thy that ways is. acknowledge him. Yes. And he shall direct thy path. That's, and that's why a lot of times when we, you know, when you put the Heavenly Father, actually, all the time you put the Heavenly Father, a lot of, a lot of things move in a specific way. You know, a lot of things move a lot more smoothly when you're considering your Shemal Shai and all the things that you do. 
you know? Because the thing is, that's what the Heavenly Father requires from us, is that acknowledgement. Okay, did you at least consider the Lord? Did you at least consider what he would think? Did you at least consider how the Heavenly Father feels about the moves that you're making? And that's what really proves that you're a man of the Lord. Is when you're when you're all about your husband, okay? As the scriptures say. And part of that is for the brotherhood too, as the brother said. Because you had a guy a long time ago, he was very knowledgeable in the scriptures, but he treated brothers like trash. Come on, man. And that's one of the that's the Heavenly Father got him out of there because we already had it, we had a council with him. And we, we, every, you know, brothers made amends, but then the spirit had the elders call out of the blue and say, get him out of this. Wow. After we resolved it. So that was the spirit because, you know, he, he treated other brothers like trash. And I heard that's what happened with a lot of uh, these leaders, you know, that happened in other groups. It was leaders that got removed because they were tyrants and they treated other brothers like trash. The Lord don't like that. And they thought just because they was in a high position that they couldn't get touched. No, you're not higher than the Lord, man. You gotta respect their person, man. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 37 and verse 19. It says, there is one that is wise and teacheth many, and yet is unprofitable unto himself. Oh, shit. Okay. One that is wise and teacheth. He was out there teaching everything, but when it came to the brothers, he was like literally like shunning brothers. Come on. I was, I'm not gonna say names, you know. I was there when one of the older brothers, the elder in our camp, I remember the brother begged the bro for help. He begged this man for help. I seen this with my eyes, heard it with my ears. He begged him for help and he kind of shunned him, man. Now that he got removed, all that wisdom that he had went on that brother. Wow. And I know it. Being a younger man, I saw it through the years. Right. All the wisdom, the same stuff that the dude spoke is now on this elder. That's why I knew the Lord transferred. Right. Giving up that talent, yep. he'll give it to another. That literally, that's true. Yep. Because all, the dude was good in history. He knew uh, uh, um, the different religions. The break, it was amazing. And all that got transferred to another brother exactly. The Lord definitely does that, man. I'm, I did a video years ago. The brother next to you, the brother that you see could be your replacement. Mm. Brothers out here, they could be your replacement. They could be your replacement. They could be your replacement. Because new brothers coming in, you being a demon, the Lord gets you out, but the other brother that came in. Now what we hope is that we just all come in and be brothers. That's what we hope, but we gotta endure to the end for that. But guess what, we have we had a dude in the camp who don't, me, me personally, I don't believe he's coming back. Guess what, we have other brothers waiting. That's your replacement. That's that's how scary the Lord is, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's, that's why the scriptures tell you not to covet, man. You know, Jake, that's a worldly, that's a worldly feature. You just want the power. Yeah. You know, you want it all to be able to say something. Bro, the higher you move up in rank, the more harder it gets, man. Yeah. You know, because now you're not dealing with your flock. This ain't your business. Mm -hmm. You know, you ain't LLC this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Lord's business yeah, yeah, and this right, is his mill. Right, right. yeah. You know, so you know, you know, if somebody trying to fight your friend or something, Somebody, you know, got a problem with your friend, you know, you, you will fit, you like, yo, so what's up then? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. this brother comes in, hey, hey, somebody got a problem with shit, I'm putting on my shoes, what's up? <laughs> what's so up? how you think your Howard Shaw feel? Exactly. Mm -hmm. All of us is brought together in the name, we, we were your Howard Shaw's men. That's right. So you offended one of his men, that's on you. Turn. The higher you go, get that. Yes, there's Sirach chapter 3, verse 18, it says, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself. Yeah, so and the more you move up the rank, the more humble you should be, you should be becoming, man. You know, the more available you should make yourself to the men that's under you. Yes. It's harder the higher you go, man. Yes. You know, uh, heavy is the head that wears the crown. That yeah. is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, more responsibility, yeah. more duty that's required. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the rest of it, it says, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. This is a uh, Sirach chapter three, verse eighteen. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself. And thou shalt find favor before the Lord. And that's the truth, man. You know, that's why, listen, what, what's, that, what's that scripture? You're not supposed to grieve the men that's over you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I said it. Yeah, 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 I can say, if you go to 13th chapter too. If I can say this real quick, because in order for, for those brothers to have gotten oh. to the rank that they got to, they had to face certain demons, man. Mm -hmm. 
they had to face certain experiences in order for the Heavenly Father to put them on that level. Yeah. And somebody, is, you know, somebody from the outside looking in, thinking that this person is just on a high level for no reason and trying to be on that level, the Lord would, would destroy that person, right? And you, it's a lot. Yeah. I was going to say one more thing. There's actually examples in the scripture that in the book of Acts, you had that man who saw uh, 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 Paul casting out demons. All right, and he tried to do the same thing. Yeah, he tried. You know? He tried to do the same thing, and, with the, and the demon hopped on his ass, and he said, "Look, Paul, I know, Yahweh Shai, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. but who the hell are you, man?" Yeah, yeah. Break something. You see? You got it, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Hebrews thirteen, verse seventeen. Obey them that have ruled the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they may do it with joy, and not with grief. Right. For that is unprofitable for you. Got another one for you. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 1. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of the Most High and his doctrine be not blasphemed. Verse 2. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. See? See, that's the higher you go, the more you, you learn, you appreciate the men that Hell taught you. Yeah. Yep. Man, you appreciate the job that, yo, I, this yeah. ain't easy, man. It's not. And then, and bro, when we was at Knife and G, I, 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 I literally call that the GC boot camp. Bro, we, huh. six days a week, huh. we was in it. We yeah, was in bro. it. And, and, and the sacrifice of these elders, that's why, you know, I know we supposed to call them Raj. Raj. But y'all yeah, are all elders. Yeah, yeah, man. To me, yeah. because, yo. It was the elders in D.C. that taught me how to be a man. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So that job is not easy. There's no way you want to come in and get that high because even just being a petty officer. Bro, good God damn, bro. I don't even, you got to make sure you know where the brothers is at. You got, yo, know, the elder asks you, yo, what's going on with this brother? You got to have an answer, man. Mm -hmm. Like the, you like know? the, like the uh, elder Monaghan, Rosh Monaghan. Yeah. You try to do whatever I can for the brother because I remember at one point he was doing everything. I mean everything. And it got to the point where it's like, like, can you help me out type thing? And we was like, we was like, Elder, yeah, because you know, he was doing everything. And then it's now it's like, hey brother, you do this, you do that, you do this. Yeah. To relieve the stress. I mean, brothers, literally. Yeah. He was yeah. doing everything. And it got to a point it was overwhelming. Yeah. And remember the scripture said, well, that believing master, what? They're brothers. Yeah. That's still your brother. The apostle Tahar, the apostle Gabar, the top apostles, they're still our brothers. You know, we're supposed to love our brothers, man. So whenever that brother has like a, a whole lot of stuff, I try to help. You know, you try to help your brothers, man. No period. This is Luke 12 and 47. Luke 12 and 47 says, it said, that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beat with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beat with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have commit much of him, they will ask the more. Right. And you know what's beautiful about that? Because there's a point that I didn't want to mention. The reason why we have so much regard and respect for our elders is because it took a lot for us to get to the level that we're at right now. You know, and I can speak for myself. I've been through some things spiritually, and I've seen some things spiritually, and I've also been through pain. I've been through suffering, and that's all of us have. You know, because we wouldn't be able to receive the knowledge and understanding that we have to the standard moment without those pains and sufferings. And I think about the, the worst that I've been through, and I'm like, damn, if this is the worst that I've been through, just look at the man, you know, the man that's ahead of you. You know, just think about the man that's ahead of you. Because the thing is, the Lord, he, <clears throat> the order is there for a specific reason. Okay, he understood exactly what this man can handle and how and how he's gonna handle it and so on and so forth. And that's why if you could bring that priest up out real quick, this is first Thessalonians chapter five. Um you start at eleven. Yeah. It me, says, Where Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another, uh -huh. even as also you do, and we beseech you. It said comfort one another and edify one uh, one another. And that's our job. Our job is to comfort each other with the scriptures of Yahweh of Yah that speak about Yahweh Shai. Also, give us insight, give us understanding, answers, 
to the questions that we have in our spirits so that we're able to uh, uh, live life a little bit more fluidly through the powers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And it said edify each other, build, okay? Not the build that we seen last week. All right, we're talking about actual righteous building of men, of character, of stature, of bravery, of honor, of, of, of what's it called, of honor, all right? Of courage, all right, integrity. These are things that you're not gonna be able to receive in this world. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding by ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai, right? And then keep reading, Mother Kasha. It says, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you yes. and are over you in the Lord. And again, that goes, that goes about self-awareness and identifying, all right? So you have to identify your surroundings. And that's what I, I made a video yesterday on the same exact topic. That's why you have to identify what this man is with you. Although the Lord is not going to give you a full insight of what, what the brother went through specifically in his life, you can already tell by what he professes through his mouth and through uh, the, the, the uh, position that the Lord has given that he's been through a lot. All right? And that's something that's to be regarded and respected. All right? Go ahead. Just like the brother said, uh, just like the I said earlier, put some respect on it. You know, that's what scripture I said to you. Uh, honor, you know, honor all men, you know, honor the brother. Just, yes. Hey, get that man in respect, man. Yep. You know, watch how you talk and watch how you move and watch how you ultimately conduct yourself. Exactly. And that's why there's a certain conduct that we have to carry between each other. And more specifically when it comes to our elders. Yeah, all right? right. Can you it says, I'm going to read 12 again. Please. It says, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you mm -hmm. and are over you in the Lord. See? Are and, and, over you in the Lord. That's very, very important. All right, because even they, they, they I, I remember my mother telling me this all the time when I was in the world. She's like, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, you know? And she always used to be like, you better maintain tone. That carries over into the truth. There's a tone that you need to maintain when you're amongst great men, all right? And like I said, if I've been through my experiences and I know it was hard for some of the shit that I went through, I can only imagine what the elders and apostles went through, man. I can only imagine what these brothers went through prior to us even coming, uh, even, even knowing about this truth, man. And we're honored to be among men of uh, of Yahweh Shmuel Shah that's carried their fire and that torch since the day that they've heard this truth, man. Yep. All right, since the Lord put them here. Uh, Proverbs, Proverbs uh, ten and sixteen: The labor of the righteous tended to life; the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is the way of life that keepeth instructions, but he that refuses reproof erreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not slot. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. Yep. The tongue of the just is as a choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. The lips of the righteous yeah. feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Uh, uh, you have said that before. You talk about that. You know, our people don't want this, man. They don't. They don't want to get out their own way, and that's the problem. Our problem is people's own way getting in their way. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And that's that's because they haven't shed the old man collectively. You know, and that's why it's a con it's a constant purging of a old of the yeah. old man. Yeah. And but that's think why they know better. Yeah. Right. We'll tell you. Think they know better. Exactly. And that's why even uh, referring to what the brother said earlier, uh, um, the Kahan Ganan, he said like it's not you're not just a weekend Israelite. The the thing is we have to carry this this uh, purging throughout our whole entire week right, right. because that's where it actually really matters. Right. You can put on a you can put on a mask and, and yeah. Shalom brothers all all day long, but at the same time, who are you carrying that same brotherly love? Are you carrying that same uh, uh, essence of your how about Shmuel your everyday life? All right. All right. And like, it, like, yeah. Um, it says verse thirteen, and it says, "And to esteem them very highly in love for their works." Start it at start it at twelve again. Uh, uh, this is First Thessalonians five and twelve, and we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, mm -hmm. and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, right. to, and to us and to esteem them very highly in love. For their work's sake. See? And, keep reading. and be at peace among yourselves. Exactly. It said to esteem them very high in love. Yeah, for their work's sake. For their work's sake. Yeah. And that and, and that part right there, for their work's sake, that's that's a very important part because they've been putting in the work prior to you coming. Come. That's the wisdom of life. Yeah, man. 
Give that man his, give that man his respect. Like, you go to a job, you go to your nine to five, bro, it's seniority. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, as you got managers, supervisors, and so on and so forth, man. Yeah. All the way down to your average uh, associates. So, you know, rich man is stole to the cloud. Yeah, yeah. The man of the Lord is brought down low. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and just the main point, yeah, yeah, yeah. The main point was just the fact of the matter is that you have to regard the men that are that are above you, you yeah. know, and also uh, 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 acknowledge their works, yeah. you know, because the Lord put those men in, in your life for a specific reason. And a, lo and a lot of times, those men will teach you very valuable lessons that you're definitely going to encounter in yeah. your in your walk in this truth, man. Right. So with that, of course, we give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekakadash. Of course, we give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS. And of course, peace and blessings be from the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.